children welcome to another session of story time with me i am miss seema and you're watching seema story time children do we love lizards i think all of us are very scared of lizards isn't it i am very scared of lizard i really get very scared and i run away when i see one does that happen with you too great so in today's story which is the lizard's tail something happens to the lizard's tail what happens do you want to know well i want to know so let's read the story the lizard's tail the lizard's tail by shobha vishwanath and christine castle A baby lizard hopped from one place to another and scooted through open drawers and shelves. A little girl pushed her drawer shut. Chop, slice, went the lizard's tail. "Have you lost your tail?" asked the lizard's mother, smiling. "Perhaps it's time for a new look." "A new look? What did she mean?" thought the little lizard. As the little lizard wondered about the new look, he saw a squirrel running up and down the chiku tree. Swishing her bushy tail, the squirrel asked, "Hey, little lizard, what's up with you? I seem to have lost my tail. I really like yours. May I have it?" he replied. "I'm sorry," she said. "I can't give you my tail. I use it for shade in the summer and warmth in the winter. Also." When these silly monkeys pushed me off my tree, if I didn't have my tail, I could get hurt. The little lizard darted across the street where he found the milkman's cow. Long and thin like a whip, the cow's tail was fascinating. "Mrs. Cow, Mrs. Cow," the lizard called out, "do you have an extra tail for me?" "I wish I did." moaned mrs cow i could do with an extra one to keep those nasty flies off my back oh dear thought the lizard isn't there anyone who will give me a tail he saw three dogs at the street corner and rushed towards them hello there i have lost my tail would one of you be able to spare your curly tail the largest of the dogs began to howl with laughter and the rest joined him Their tails wagged merrily. Disappointed, the lizard moved on. Nearby, on a wall, an orange cat stretched gracefully. The little lizard went to her hesitantly and asked, "If you would part with your tail, my tail keeps me balanced when I climb fences. What would I do without it?" she purred. The little lizard approached an elephant at the temple gate. Can I help you little one asked the elephant gently No one has been able to help me and all I want is a tail sighed the lizard as he thought the elephant about his troubles The elephant laughed I know you have lost your tail but just imagine yourself with a cow's tail or a squirrel's How will you dart across the ceiling with a dog's tail or a cat's You would look ridiculous. The lizard tried to imagine himself with a cow's tail. Yes, I would look silly, he admitted, laughing. He thanked the elephant, ran home and told his mother everything that had happened. "You silly thing, just turn around," she said. The little lizard saw that his tail has no longer a stump. It had started to grow. Delighted, he let out a squeal. Soon the tail was fully grown. He was wearing a new look and it was perfect. The end. So wasn't it very funny children? The lizard has lost its tail and now the lizard starts finding for different tails so that he can have a better tail than the one which he had before. 
so he goes to all the different animals and then finally what happens finally the lizard gets its tail back because even if a lizard loses its tail or it gets cut by mistake it grows again did you all know that well i knew it but i'm sure a few of you don't know that a lizard's tail grows back again wow so nice isn't it great children it was a lovely story i liked it i'm sure you liked it too and this was a bit of a funny story we'll come back again with more funny stories for you till then from our story room it's a bye bye see you soon